What is up, y'all? I hope you guys have been having a good summer here so far. I know it's a weird year, but hopefully, like, fishing-wise, you guys have been having some success. Let me know down in the comments below. Any PBs? Any nice bluegill? I'm now back deep inside the state of Delaware. We have a pretty interesting video here today. I'm actually really excited for this one. So, about a month ago, I was browsing over on Wish.com. This is not sponsored, by the way, but if you guys don't know what Wish is, basically, like, from my understanding, it is an overseas website. I'm pretty sure they're based out of China. It's kind of like an AliExpress kind of thing. They just have, like, a bunch of stuff that's cheap, and a lot of it's very interesting. So I typed in fishing and they they do they have so much fishing stuff about like maybe a year ago ish I made a video actually where I did a $50 wish fishing challenge You guys check that video down in the description below in that video We bought a rod and reel we actually caught a pretty big fish on it But that was a spinning reel as I said like a whole year later. I went back on I was like yo how were the bait casters on this website? So, Detective First State came out. I started browsing around a little bit until I found what we have in this car right here. From my understanding, I believe, I don't know, I think this is the cheapest bait caster on Wish. Uh, at least it was at the time. On the website, let me tell you guys, man, this thing looks freaking sick. I mean, especially for the amount of money I paid for this, this thing might be actually really cool. Not exactly sure if it's going to work, first of all, and I don't know what it's going to look in real life. Like, it could look cool on the internet, but not in real life. Boom, this is it right here, man. Soggy lying. Soggy. Lang. Now again, my no means is this video sponsored by anybody. Soggy did not pay me to buy that. I bought this thing myself because I thought it looked cool and it took like a month to come over here. Let me actually pop up a picture of what the soggy reel is supposed to look like. Tell me that this does not look freaking sick, man. I don't think really I've seen anything like this before from any companies out there. This is a solid gold reel. I mean, it's not 24 carats. Probably negative carats. I have no clue what it's actually made out of. But just like the coloration, we've seen all chrome reels. I have never ever seen an all gold reel. So hopefully, I mean, I, I don't know what it's gonna look like i'll tell you what though man wish is always hooking us up this was i think it said like 350 dollar reel literally on all their listings they said something like this like a freaking ridiculous price and then they like, cut it in one tenth i believe i paid 20 dollars uh for this reel right here so quick maths if my calculations are correct this reel is like cheaper than the cheapest reel you could buy in Walmart that's a baitcaster. Is that right? Like, dude, if this thing looks even half as cool as it did on the internet, I think that this is gonna be freaking sick. Whether it works or not, it's it's gonna look cool. That's all that really matters, right? Are you guys ready for this? I'm actually really excited. We're gonna pop this dude open. Let me take a sneak peek. Woo! Soggy dude. Dude, 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 dude. $20. Look at how freaking sick. I don't know if this lighting is doing this any justice right now. Holy crap, man. That is actually really, 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 really cool. Soggy, y'all have outdone yourselves. I'm getting like Call of Duty vibes. Remember from like Call of Duty 4 or Black Ops? I don't know if it's in the new ones, but like the all gold camo, like the AK, the mini Uzi. Dude, I actually really hope that this thing works. This is going to be a very interesting experiment. I mean, that is like, that is one of the coolest reels, honestly, I've ever seen. For freaking $20, dude. Spin test definitely spins. So what we're going to do, man, we're going to spool this thing up. We're going to take it out to the water. I'm going to hit up some ponds that I really haven't gone to in a while. If you guys have watched the channel, I haven't really been in Delaware, so I don't know how the fishing is around here really right now. But we'll check some places out. This thing is so shiny, man. The shininess like that adds like plus 10 hookup ratio automatically. Really quick before we get started, man, I just want to thank you guys for all the support. It really does mean the world to me. 400k still doesn't feel real. 500k, we're on your butt. We are coming for you, man. By the way, if you're new here or if you do enjoy my videos but you are not already, please make sure to go down there. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. Also, man, for this shiny 100 karat Gucci gold reel, please make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. Hopefully, this thing does not blow up on us. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna lie, man. This thing is dumb fire. Spooled it up with some 17 pound fluorocarbon. I don't feel worthy. To hold the shininess. It's just so shiny. I feel like the crab in Moana. Yeah, man, we're starting off this video here today at a pond. You guys have seen me fish a couple times before. Apparently, there are some big fish in here. Literally, like every single time I came here, they've seemed to avoid us, but it's not like the biggest pond ever, so it might be pretty warm. It's apparently been like 90 plus degrees here in Delaware recently. So these fish, I mean, they're kind of living in a jacuzzi, but the wind seems to be blowing this way. We might start off over here. I'm telling you guys, this is kind of like Dinkerville, Dinkerfest, whatever you want to call it. I, I don't know. The past couple times I was here, as I said, I haven't been here recently, but uh, yeah, there's definitely a population of like smaller guys. I'm more than happy whew, through the jungle to catch, you know, anything really. I just want to catch some fish. Don't let me down, Soggy. Just take a second, man. Look at the shine. Look at the carrots. We'll go ahead and do a little overview of this reel. So right here, zero to 10, nice feeling grips. We are uh, gonna be starting off here with the summer special, the OG Gary Yamamoto Sanko. Right now, let me see, it is 315. 
p.m. And currently it says it feels like 91 degrees out. So it's it's kind of toasty. I've been looking at the weather reports. It has been roasty toasty here. So usually like I'd recommend fishing earlier and you know later in the day. Little weightless Texas rigged five inch Senko. Why is this like? I guess this is literally not work. All right, we're just like free balling it here. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh boy, that's what I did not want to happen. Oh gosh. And that was probably my fault. Um, Please don't get bit on this cast. Okay, there we go. What? Okay, all right. Oh, I'm getting bit. What the heck? Dude. Dude, second cast. Is he still on? <laughs> Holy crap. Freaking backlash cast. Come here, boy. Let's go. Oh, gosh. Playing kind of hard. I had a feeling, man. Wind's blowing over here. I mean, that was freaking quick. Good old Sanko, middle of the day. People call these ow, the dog ow. People call these the dog days of summer. You know, fishing, when it's so hot, it just can be very, very slow sometimes. That is a good start, man. Maybe it's gonna be a good, I mean, he's been caught a bunch of times. He's got a bunch of holes in his mouth. Maybe the fishing is gonna be pretty good. Uh, it might seem that this might not be the brightest of fish. Let's let him go right there. Fell for the OG yet again, man. Freaking Sanko. Yeah, no, that actually worked pretty good. I didn't even freaking, I didn't even check the drag. Track's good. Probably loosen that a little bit. Does this even work? Yeah, there we go. Let's set these brakes a little higher. Not exactly sure um, why I'm backlashing here. All right, there we go. <laughs> we got the freaking brakes all the way up on 10. I th This thing just has a mind of its own. Oh my gosh. Bro, what? Are they all stacked up right here? <laughs> what? That is the next cast. Yo, this like what come here boy what is going on right now this is like what all right chill 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 chill, chill. oh there goes the sanko all right buddy you're gonna have to calm down right on the top of the mouth right there i just uh yeah i don't, I don't know man is it the luck of the gold literally too like this isn't like a place that nobody fishes sure it's a smaller pond so it might be oh butterfly it might be easier for us to you know locate the fish because it's you know smaller the wind's blowing this way i just had a good feeling thank you so much buddy yeah, I mean, this place gets freaking... Like, it gets pressured. I'd say it gets hammered, dude. I'm trying to cast it right back in the same spot here. Oh, come on, gold reel. Right there. Come on, three for three. That's the last two casts, right? Look at how freaking shiny, man. I'm not gonna lie. If somebody, like, like... If I was at a bass tournament and somebody pulled up holding this thing, man, I'd be a little shook. It looks expensive. Definitely let me know in the comments below. If you guys just saw somebody rocking this, how much do, they, how much do you think? Would you, you automatically know it's a wish rod or reel? Ooh, that breeze feels good. Definitely like kind of makes you scratch your head. I know, you know, I, maybe they do. I don't know. But, you know, I know actual big manufacturers or brands have an all gold reel. I mean, that, that that's just really cool. Come on, Bertha. Just letting this thing rise up and sink. These Sankos are such a good little wobble. They kind of shimmy-ish on the way down. Especially in shallow ponds like this. Weightless Sanko, man. It's one of my go-to go. Oh. Just hit that turtle. You know, actually looking at it, there's a bunch of little Franklins bopping around out here. Earlier in the year, I don't know if it's like turtle season or something, like a month or two ago, there were so many freaking turtles in here. Oh, I just got bit. Oh my God. Is that a bluegill or a bass? Hello? Try to go out here a little bit deeper. It's dragonfly season too. I don't know if you guys can see them in the video or not, but there are so many dragonflies flying around. Look at that. See that one right there? That's a blue one, I think. Colorblind dragonfly problems. Dragonflies really though, like they're they're underrated, man. Hands down, some of the coolest insects. Are they insects? Pretty sure. If you ever just get a chance, if you're outside, they're just flying around, just, just look at them, man. Oh, that's not good. All right, there should be a path. Yeah, kind of like right here. It's kind of overgrown. Let me just give you guys some quick updates real quick. I don't know, I feel like everything's been moving so fast recently. So in the beginning of the video, I didn't even mention, we are not currently rocking the dollar store shades anymore. This is kind of soggy. There's gotta be some fish over there, right? Yeah, I actually bought some new shades. Polarized shades too. Last sunglasses I had, they were like polarized kind of, but not like polarized, polarized. If that makes any sense. So these fish, man, they better watch out. Especially, I wanna do a lot more creek fishing and uh, river fishing and stuff very soon. These fish better watch out, man. Oh, that's a bite. I don't know if that was a birth of bite. Oh, 
That's a fish. This gotta be a fish right there. Come on, Sanko. See other updates, man. If you guys like haven't watched my last two videos, I got a puppy, man. He has been keeping me very, very busy. Kelsey and I have uh, definitely had our hands full, but it is like the best thing ever, dude. I freaking love my dog. Ugh. First pet I've really ever owned, ever. I don't know, a lot of y'all roasted me, man. Everything he does, it was just good boy. That's because he's a good boy. See, so yeah, if you guys haven't seen the past two videos, I got an eight week old golden retriever puppy. He is currently nine weeks old now. We've had him for like a little over a week. It doesn't even seem like that. They say these puppies grow fast, but he is zooming. So I'm enjoying, you know, the puppy phase, but I'm just so excited for when he can go on like adventure adventures, when he gets to be a big boy. First couple casts, I mean, we we're getting smacked. I might've spooked the whole family down there. The thing I kind of noticed about kind of like bodies of water like this, is that like if you have the big ones, a lot of times the ones like the size that we were catching, oh, I just got smacked. Hello? But a lot of times those sizes will go swipe it before the big one. They'll just kind of like watch. You know what I mean? It's definitely a bite. It can be hard to catch the biggest, man, especially in a pond like this that's small, shallow, and very, very pressured. They've probably seen so many Sankos. Ooh, ooh. Well, that's a cool bird. It's like yellow on its wings. I actually am kind of curious. Um, definitely let me know in the comments below what is your like go-to summer lure, whether you fish, you know, ponds like this, lakes, rivers, creeks. This looks kind of ticky. Oh, there's a bunch of little bait fish around here. But yeah, let me know what your, you know, summer special is. Oh, dude, there's so many little, what are those? Are those small bass fry? Holy crap. There's like tiny little bass all around the outside here. I think there's a tiny bluegill mixed in as well. Not the prettiest sounding reel. Let's see if we can get anything over here on this side. I'll tell you what though, it really is crazy how much sunglasses can make a difference man the dollar store shades they were cutting it they were protecting the corneas but i could actually like see stuff now it's a weird feeling man i feel like i've been using them for a little while I forgot how this felt come on fish what are these casts we're gonna strike gold it hit the lucky jackpot. It's gonna be a big one. This place has, I, I've seen pictures, man. I've seen pictures. We're not talking about no extendo arm pictures either. Like there, there's some legit, legit pictures. We just gotta drop it right on Bertha's head. Right there, that's where she's sitting. Watch this, give it 10 seconds. Oh my, dude. Something ran with it. I'm not even joking. Did you guys see that? Did I just speak that into existence? I guess regardless, I missed the freaking hook set. I just cursed myself. Oh my God, they're smacking it right up. What is going on? Ah, look right there. Come on, do it again. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh my gosh, hold on. That feels better. That's definitely better than the first two. Is that... Hold on. Is that water skiing? Hold on, buddy. That is, a, that was a catfish. Not like a catfish, but like, you know what I mean? If you have the coordinates for Big Bertha, please airdrop to me. Thank you. Jeez, like destroying the Sankos too. These things aren't cheap, bro. This thing is almost done, done. That is like hanging on by a thread. Ow. Freaking mosquito, dude. It's like the middle of the day. Freaking tree, dude. All right, so we are at yet another spot here for the day. This is a pond I've been to. You guys have seen me come to this pond a decent amount. I have not been here in months though, and it looks very dirty. I know for a fact, I've caught them before. There are some big old honking fish in here, and they fight hard in here too. So that is really hopefully gonna put the reel to the test if we can find any fish. Really quickly though, kind of off topic, I have a question for you guys. Okay, so kind of random, but when you wake up in the morning and you're either going fishing or you got something to do, you don't have much time, what do you guys eat in the morning? Like what is your go-to, like quick little snack, grab and go type of thing? I cannot figure out, like I don't know what to eat in the morning. When I have stuff to do, I have to go fish, I have to edit or something else in the morning. I don't have time to like make bacon, eggs, and I don't even really like eggs all that much so yeah please if you guys have any suggestions let me know in the comments below i'll be reading the comments man i know i asked you guys for a lot of different questions down here i'm trying to get my breakfast game right because sometimes i just go and i don't eat so that's i'm trying to fix that all right so we're gonna go with kind of a uh, different approach here we have 
Let me show you actually real quick. We have a little like creature slash crawl bait on here with a little weight. Wow, it does not look the same at all. This is, if you can believe it, this is the pond where they cut down all those trees. Now they have, I guess, are these the same kind of trees that are growing back up here? Maybe they planted more when they cut those down. This calls for some investigation, man. I do not know what the heck is going on here. Okay. All right, what is going on? I don't know, man, that's very interesting. There were so many, oh, there's a little turtle right there. There was just like so many downed trees, timber. So what I'm gonna do, man, I'm gonna toss this thing around where all that stuff was. I'm guessing it got pushed out a little bit from winds and rain and stuff. I'm gonna kind of work this very slowly along the bottom. I do wish that this water was a little more clear. This probably isn't the best color to use. Probably like a, I don't know, preferably I'd probably use like a black, blue. I got my trust here in this gold reel. Let's cast on this little tree over there. I just have a feeling, man, I don't know. This kind of bait just spoke to me. Maybe it's the reel telling me what to throw here. If you guys saw those videos, I was literally walking on a shelf of the timber and now it's just like gone. Now we got this beach. Yeah, this was not like, th this whole beach was not like that. It's just weird, where are the trees, man? How does that much wood just disappear? Maybe they took it out. Let's see, right now it is 5 p.m. I guess I should mention too, uh, if you guys haven't seen these videos before from me fishing here, this place is actually pretty darn pressured as well. It just gets fished a lot and finding the fish here is the struggle. If you find them and you get on a pattern, you could have some success. Okay, let's get over here. Almost spooled me, man. We freaking launched that thing. All right, this area that I'm casting at should, uh, this is where, if there's fish in here, this is where I think they'd be. It drops off and gets like significantly deeper. Like pretty darn freaking deep. Wind's blowing this way as well. What the heck is going on here? There's like money. See this lucky quarter, man. This was heads up. I'll pick this one. 1996. Okay. There's a penny and another quarter there with their tails. Look at this school. Bait fish. What the heck? Oh, there's another one right next to it. What, yeah, what are those? This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about where sometimes, see the wind is pushing this way. Sometimes it pushes the bait over here the corner and maybe that there's some actual oh what the heck some just jumped right there you know maybe there's some bigger fish over here holy crap they're like all over this bank all right come on man. there's gotta be some fish it's gotta be a fish i'm not exactly matching the hatch chill not today Oh, there's a fish. There's, a, oh no. Dude, the drag slipped. Dang it. Probably spooked him. Whew, okay. First action. I mean, if they're over here, as I said, if we could find like a little pattern. There's no reason they shouldn't be by all these bait fish. I'm gonna go ahead and say Loki. I, bl I blame the reel on that one. This is a uh, very snaggy. Oh my God, what the heck? Look at this. Maybe this reel is lucky, dude. I just found a uh, the, the little popper. Not exactly sure. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are familiar. Doesn't it, does it have a brand name on it? Ah, very interesting. I'm gonna keep this down here for now. Let me know if you guys know what kind of popper that is. What's next, you know? Potential, oh. Dude, biggin, 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 big. Compared to the other ones I was catching at least, big. Come here, spooked all the freaking, okay. Today, that's considered a big, okay, hold on a second, buddy. Ow, ow, that's the thing, these fishing here are so freaking aggressive. This guy pulled hard, too. Let's go, dude. All right, that is, dude, that's a nice fish right there, man. I'd say like, what, a pound and a half-ish? Definitely bigger than the ones we were carrying. We were in Dinkerville, as I said, Dinkerfest. Every now and then, Dinkerville hosts Dinkerfest, and it's, it's a great time, but, that's that's a good feeling right there, man. I don't know if that's as big as the first one that bit, but I mean, look at like that's that's a nice fish, man. That's like a seven pounder, dude. All right, man. Thank you so much for buying, buddy. Go get those little bait fish. Super, like he's already. This water's so dirty. All right, so that is good. Second bite on this. Let's see. Today that counts as a biggin, not a biggin, biggin. 
but not really a biggin either. It's not the biggest. It's just a biggin here for the day, especially when we're catching the tiny little ones. I mean, we've been doing pretty good here today, honestly. As I said, these places are freaking pressured, especially like with this whole health stuff going on. These places are pressured out the wazoo. But yeah, man, if you guys enjoy this video, if you guys want to see more stuff like this, more wish stuff, I did actually order more stuff. So we're going to be making some other videos, some of the stuff we ordered. It's just fun, man. You know, getting cheap stuff, seeing if it actually works. I, I cannot promise you, like, I, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I don't know if I'd go and get this reel if I was you guys looking for like a legit reel. From my experience, usually, I mean, when it comes to reels, you know, you get what you pay for. So we'll see how this thing holds up. Sun is starting to set a little bit, so it's getting a little bit cooler. We got that breeze. I really got to start fishing more top water too this year. Before top water season leaves us here, I mean, this year's flying by. I got, I got to, you know, we got to do a little something. All right, cast the catch right here. Right outside of that shade. Oh, I just got bit. Did I just call this? Is he coming at me? Hello? Do I have fish on that? I called it. I called it. Cast the catch. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Come here, boy. All right. Whew. Yet again. I mean, not... Don't tell me we're aggressive, man. Dinkerfest is making its way over to this pond as well. It's very interesting too how like the coloration. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I mean, we might not be getting the uh, biggest of the big here, but that is. I mean, look how sharp. I don't even tell. He's got some sharp old teeth. These things are definitely over here chomping on the bait fish. I kind of spooked all these bait fish away from the shore probably with that sneeze. Thank you very much, my good sir. Oh boy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude. Dude. That's the biggest one of the day. Come here. Please tell me I'm recording. Let's go, dude. Okay. Please do not hook me. Woo. Dude, same bait. Crushing it. Oh my God. That is, dude, that is a two pound all day. Look at that freaking belly. That is a nice fish. The real, I don't know if you can hear it or not. It, in real life, it kind of made a weird noise. Look at how light they are. Cause the water's so dark and dingy. Fishing some straight up chocolate milk out here. Oh my gosh. That is, dude, that, that's like a thick fish too. Look how thick it is back here by his tail. That feels good, man. Okay. Okay. We, we I mean, we've been catching them. First day back in Delaware. I cannot be happier, man. Thank you so much, buddy. Super aggressive fish, man. Look at all this. It's like a trail of bird feathers. That was one of them bites, man, where you don't even feel it. Oh, look how shiny, man. You don't even feel it. You just see your line going. All right, we'll chill a little bit more at this corner. I want to adventure around again. There's definitely some more shadows building up over, like, back where we came from. It looks super good right now. We found the pattern, though. They're really liking this. I just I had a hunch. All right. Oh! He just woke up from a nap. All right, y'all, so that is pretty much it for this video here today. That gold reel, I mean, it looks super cool. 10 out of 10 looks. Um, it, I mean, it performed not too bad. Drag slipped a couple times, but overall, I mean, would I recommend that for long-term use? Probably not, but it, it looks cool, so. He's a sleepy boy. He's been sleeping uh, for the past like hour or two. Oh, what are you doing? Camper, come. Sit. Good boy. Hey. Oopsie. Camper sit. <laughs> Down. Good boy. Good boy. Hey, this is a new one here, guys. Camper, spin. Good, Good boy. boy. That is a genius doggo right there. Genius. All right, y'all. That is pretty much going to do it here for this video today. Again, as always, thank you guys so much for all the support. It really does mean the world to me. 500K on the way. Again, if you guys are not already, if you do enjoy the videos or if you're new here, please make sure to go down there. <laughs> please subscribe. Uh, please make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. I'm going to go finish editing up this video. But yeah, just again, man, thank you guys so much for all the support. All I got to say is, let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.